clue of nightmares. Greetings, mortals. Welcome back to Elise's Nightmare. It's been a little bit since I've been able to post much. We're still in the middle of this moving process, but we there's a light of hope in the darkness right now. We might have a place in a few days. I'm not entirely sure. We have to wait until an application comes back saying yay or nay. An application that we paid quite a bit of money for, unfortunately. I woke up again, and it's night again. I don't think I can even control my sleep anymore. Dad came out of a dream. I had more to ask Dad. Anyway, I know you weren't sensitive enough to have weird dreams. Who are you talking to? Like this fire assessment report. There's definitely something my mom is hiding from me. I should go to my mom and check what's going on this time. Okay. Move that. Oh. Today is strangely too hot. It smells like something burning. Why is the weather so fickle? Are you in Texas? That's where once I went to bed and it was freezing and I woke up and it was like a hundred. Mom, since when have you been awake? You came to my room when I was sleeping, right? Elise? Elise's footsteps are right, but her hands are not so hot. But her hands are not so hot. What? What are you talking about? Now, tell me the truth. This time my dad appeared in a dream. What does this report mean? Dad talked about revenge. Somebody set fire to dad's store on purpose. You told me it was a simple accident. Elise, calm down. Your dad died in an explosion two years ago. I've never been to your room. I doubt you've never been to the room. But before, your grandmother came by my bed. Grandma said she wanted to give you jewelry. Mom, Grandma died three years ago. You don't answer my question, and I don't want to hear any more. I'm going. Oh, um, are you very angry? I'm sorry, Elise. In fact, your grandmother also had her soul stolen by the evil. And now grandmother is targeting your soul. What are y'all doing? Sorry about all the ruckus in the background. I have nine cats. <laughs> and six of them are rambunctious little fucks. We did have ten. We had seven kittens, but Fishnet found a new home. Hello. Oh, yeah. Help me. Okay. I really hate my mother who keeps saying that nonsense and leaving this house. Hey! 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 Get down! Get down! Get down, Ash! Get down! Okay, get out of here. I'm going to have to lie down. So you're leaving because your mom keeps warning you about the crap that's coming to kill you every night. Why the hell are you talking about a deceased grandmother? I have to get out of this house. But if I stay like this, I'm going to get psychotic. I'm so sleepy. I need to go to bed for a little while before I go out. At least, at least your mom is nice with her dementia. 
I am currently having some strife with someone that's got that's not so nice with dementia. And the struggle the struggle is real. It's it's a it's a struggle. It's as kind as I can put that. Who's coming this time? Mr. Caterpillar? I think. No, that's a snake. That's a snake. It's so cute! That was my favorite one. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I have to kill it? I don't want to kill it. I want to snuggle with it. False end. Alright. Elise's grandmother was originally of a noble family, but she fell in love with her grandfather, who was a commoner and married. Oh? So, although it wasn't enough, she always behaved with dignity and was admired by decorating it with expensive jewels brought from home before marriage. However, as the economy became increasingly difficult, the grandfather secretly sold the grandmother's real jewels one by one and filled them with fake jewels. That's not cool. Only after the children are mature, the grandmother discovers that all her jewels are fake in the process of accidentally appraising the jewels to give to her daughter. Oh boy. She was greatly disappointed with her husband and family, separated from them, and turned away from the tragedy that happened to her children. And when Elise's uncles asked the grandmother dressed when, when her uncles asked the grandmother dressed up in fake jewels to hand, hand out the jewels, she drives them away. What now? I'm not sure I understood that sentence. However, not knowing that the jewelry was fake, the uncles who coveted the jewelry set fire to her grandmother's house and tried to send her out of the house to, and steal the jewelry. That's a little bit <laughs> fucked up. However, she could not give up her obsession with jewelry and stayed home until she was burned to death. And Elise heard the news and had a trauma about the fire. Well, crap. Neglect, disregard, ignore. It's a pretty snake. Why is it a snake? Why does the snake gotta be here? Why can't the snake be like on my team? Where the hell are we? It's too hot. You're back in your dreams again, if there's really a demon like Mom said. Snick snick. Who the hell is this? Who the hell is the devil? Why are the hell are you for me? What the hell is that? By the way, I've heard this voice a lot. Grandma? Elise, there's a lot of expensive jewelry in Grandma's stomach, so come on in. <laughs> I 
Alright, Neglect drops fancy jewels when attacked by a rabbit. There are three kinds of statues on the map. If you insert the same type of jewelry into the jewelry slot next to the statue, the statue will work. Put the jewels into the stone statue and fires a laser from its mouth, causing damage to Neglect and Elise in the direction the statue is looking. And be careful, Neglect has an attack skill that can only be... That's... That's... Is... It cuts off there? Alright, well this one's gonna be hard. Um, oh, right, right. I'm supposed to be doing that. Whoa, he... Whoa, what... What happened? What happened there? Um... Grab... Grab... What? What the heck was that? Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, I dropped... Oh, no, I didn't. But it didn't really help me much. Come on, come on. Heck yeah. Whoa, that actually worked that time. God dang it. Got eaten. That is unfortunately all the time I have for today. I'm not going to be able to beat this battle in this video. I'll have to wait for another one. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this short video at least. Um, I will hopefully be able to get back to making longer videos, making more, you know, more videos and longer videos soon. Um, right now things are just still up in the air. We're staying in a motel trying to find a place to go and it's kind of sucking. But hopefully it ends and we're, and we're gonna be in a new place with a with a, a pool that's got fountains in it, even. I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.